See, uh, when I got invitation from uh, Danish Cultural Institute to visit Denmark uh, in the context of India Today, Copenhagen tomorrow, uh, I thought uh, it's a good opportunity to understand a country where many uh, things are uh, common with India and uh, uh, like your functional democracy, uh, like your society, very vibrant society and we uh, uh, can learn many things from Denmark. Denmark can learn many things from India. Both countries are having very rich legacy of, uh, I mean, uh, democratic values, fight for democracy, fight for good life and uh, social harmony, etc. I mean, uh, so what I feel, ki, and uh, second thing, ki, you know, uh, to travel, to understand societies, to understand human beings and the human values, the history is my uh, passion. I mean, this is uh, this is my passion and my part of my job also. As a journalist, I frequently visit, sometimes on invitations, sometimes on my own, sometimes on my media organizations where I worked earlier. So, I mean, uh, traveling, understanding the things, understanding the history, societies, nations, people, that is all part of my, I mean, work and my life. So, so you've been in Denmark a couple of days now. Have you, have you found anything here that was interesting or? Very interesting. Very, very, very thought-provoking things I have witnessed, and I'm, I'm really glad. I'm really very happy to come here, uh, because you know I have visited Europe. I mean, especially UK and other countries. But you know, uh, Denmark is something very peculiar, very special, very, very interesting place to come here. As an Indian journalist, I'm, 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 I'm watching, I'm witnessing, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming part of, you know, uh, things here. I mean, uh, the, the, I mean, the people are very warm here. Society is a vibrant society. I mean, there is no superiority or inferiority complex. I mean, neither superiority nor inferiority. I mean, people are, they, they proud of their nation, but they don't hate others. They, they love everybody. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm walking on the roads and streets from morning to day, night, night also. You know, the study itself, I was uh, around 11, uh, till 11 o'clock, I was in the night in an in a area which I have never visited earlier. And I was all alone, alone. Nobody was there. So, I mean, uh, if you ask somebody whether he's an uh, 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 old man, he's a uh, young boy or he's a young lady, everybody is very warm and they, wa they, they are very responsive. So I like this uh, culture. Second thing I like is the, uh, the, the cycle culture, the bicycle culture. Really, it's a wonderful for whole, not only for Denmark, for India, for whole world. Because this bicycle culture, is not simply riding on a bicycle or traveling to a particular uh, destination. It is a new culture. It is a new value. It is adding something to humanity. The way environmental destruction is taking place uh, in the world today, especially from the rich countries, from the so-called first world, this can be an alternative to whole civilizational uh, what you call a problem. I mean, it is giving answer to our civilization uh, challenges which we are facing today in the whole world. And I think India and whole world should learn from Denmark as far as the bicycle culture of this country is concerned. I salute this this new value, really. It's a great thing which I saw. And third thing I do, I may not be <coughs> very, very accurate because this is my third day in Denmark. I mean, the rich and poor gap is little, uh, very, very low here. I mean, there is no very big disparity, huge disparity is not here. So that is also, uh, I mean, a great contribution, I mean, great thing which your democracy has established. So, so these things have to be done. I am here to understand these things.